people actually trust you guys more than they trust us. <laughs> surprise, <laughs> surprise. Is, what do you mean surprise, surprise? I find that very offensive. Breaking news, mate. Yes. Breaking news. First up is Mara Atoji. I'm not even sure whether I've pronounced that correctly, Probably but it's something not. along those Atoje. lines. Atoje. Atoje. Sure. <laughs> uh, he, he's opposed to yes. people knowing his salary. Mm, let I me w- guess why. Is he at the Saracens? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please don't tell anyone that I get paid a lot of money, plus a speedboat and a helicopter <laughs> and whoa, 15 whoa. properties. Helicopters too soon, mate. Too soon. Oh, don't go there. Don't go there. <laughs> no, he's not happy about no, that. He's and he's not. saying, Please don't. Um, I, I do get it. You know, you're in the public eye. Yeah, it, but a lot of people are in the public eye. Look at all the, you know, the celebrities and all that sort of thing. Yeah, but their their salaries don't get made, not made, not made public Whoa. knowledge, is it? No, but people know. You know, I know. How, you know how much I'm getting paid. And which you is know nothing. how much I'm getting paid. No, I don't. Which is equally nothing. <laughs> It's more than you, but I've got two kids to support. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I think. So he's not happy about that. But no, next one, these la- next three are absolutely in here for the same reason, which is they are, in my opinion, terrible, terrible clickbait journalism. Yeah. So let's go over the first one. Okay. George Ford sending a warning message as relentless England turn attention to Wales. Were they relentless? I mean, they played pretty well. Ireland didn't play very well. But that's that's a lot of rubbish, isn't but, it? But, but what is also interesting is, is, you know, Ford sends a warning message. Yeah. He basically says, yeah. we're turning our attention to Wales now. Oh, yeah, that's a real warning <laughs> message. <laughs> <sent>. Relentless. <laughs> did you see... Ow. Did you see... <laughs> did you see him, though, in the uh, Six Nations where he, he scored the first try... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, he kicked an old man in the head with the ball. <laughs> <laughs> they were at home as well, weren't they? <laughs> Fantastic. Next up, though, not quite as funny, is the Chiefs look to fix ridiculous problem following shock Brumby's defeat. Now, What was the ridiculous problem? They start badly. <laughs> they haven't started well this year. Yeah, wow. That's the ridiculous problem that they have. I mean, yeah, I suppose that is A lot of teams that, don't start. Well, that yeah. well. No. I mean, uh, England is a team that normally starts well. And if yeah. they don't start well, they're absolutely stuffed, pretty much. Um, but what I think is what, why I think this is a ridiculous piece of journalism is because it's not a shock defeat to the Brumbies. No. Just because the Brumbies got beaten by the Highlanders yeah. doesn't mean that the best team in Australia, and arguably, arguably, a massive arguably, one of the better teams in the in the competition. Yeah, I agree. Shouldn't Especially be, history-wise. Yeah, and shouldn't be able to beat arguably the best team in the New Zealand Conference. That's, They're all going to beat each other. Yeah. It's because the Super Rugby. It's part of the tournament. That's why we love it so much is because you really can't guess what's going to go on. You can't pick them. The last one, you read that out one out, mate. Uh, Ma'anonu remains undefeated in the United States as X All Blacks wing scores in the MLR. Why is this a ridiculous piece of journalism? <laughs> I would like to know a stat of how many games he played on the wing for the All Blacks. Not many, <laughs> which is our point, isn't it? Because he took, you wouldn't say Manonu the winger. No, you'd say you Manonu midfield. the centre. Yeah, the legendary centre. What I'd like to know is the stats on how much weight he's put on since he's been in America. Because you know Bastero. Yes. Bastero's literally the weight of a semi-detached house now <laughs> since he's a moved small over there. vehicle. Yeah, you go to America, you have, you know, your hey, big meals, happy N- days. Nick Evans is over there too, isn't he? Is he really? I think so. No, Nick, I saw Nick Evans on the weekend. You talking about Nick Evans, the fly off Nick Evans? Yeah. No, he's not. Oh. I saw him on the weekend. Oh. He's coaching for Harlequins. Is he? Yeah. Oh. I, I got gonna, that wrong, didn't I? I was going to say hello, and then I realised he wouldn't remember me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and, hey, as, he, and my, as he walked straight past me, he saw me and didn't remember me. So I was very, very, very glad. Hey, um, another funny sort of uh, headline that I read about Ma'anonu, it was it said something like, um, makes horrendous mistake. So all he did was he, he, he made a pass, got intercepted, they score. The opposition score, but his team still won like 44-29 or something. Basically, still thrashed his, them. his team are taking it serious. 
and the rest aren't. Hey, eh? that's pretty much what's happening. It's like going to Japan. It's like Dan Carter and Brody yeah. Ritalik's team are amazing, and every other team they're playing is absolute gash. Even the Sunwolves. <laughs> oh, the Sunwolves. Too soon. Yeah, way too soon, mate. Way too soon. But next up, this is breaking news, isn't it? Yeah, you got one more to pop yeah, up. Yeah, sorry, there. mate. Oh, hello, we're going the wrong way. Uh, this is big news. Artie Savia saying that he wants to NRL. play rugby league. Yeah, not for the Warriors, though, apparently. No, why would you want to play for the Warriors? Because they're the New Zealand team, mate. Come on. Yeah, I mean, this is huge. He would actually be a very good he would be rugby amazing. league player, I reckon. Do you I think he would have to put on a bit of weight? No, you've, I think this is upper a misnomer. Body, body? It's a misnomer about rugby league uh, players. Excuse me. Just take a step back. Okay, I was in Leeds today at Were a hockey you? tournament. Yeah, go all on. Day. And Leeds Rhinos were training on the artificial pitch next to where we were. And they weren't that big. And they were huge. <laughs> the thing that gets me, you know, on TV, oh, yeah, they look all the same. They are all the same. Huge. Do you know, the th- no, let me well, finish. Yeah, sorry, mate. It's sorry. just they're really wide and deep. <laughs> they they're they really are. Wide. Do you know what was really interesting that you say like that? Box. Okay, So uh, on the weekend, I went to watch Bath play Harlequins. Yes, and I saw them get off the Harlequins, get off the bus. So right. I didn't see Bath. I just saw them on the pitch, right? Okay. But I saw Harlequins get off the bus and they walked straight past me, the whole team. And the overwhelming thing that I felt was that I wasn't much smaller than them. Well, if why not, you go trial, mate? I know. I know well, <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know, my two bad knees. <laughs> but what I was really surprised, I kind of, you know, when you see them on TV, you think they look big. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, if they took their tops off, I would be putting my top back right on. <laughs> Why would you have your top off in the first place? Yeah, well, I just wanted to impress them. Uh, <laughs> but they weren't that big. I really, I mean, I literally walked away going, actually, I probably still could run out there and play, not at this level, but yeah. I wasn't thinking, you know, Ooh. they've got way bigger than they were back in the yeah. day. Back in the day. But Artie Savia going to play, I really hope, I mean, he will obviously at some point, won't he? But you've got to hope that he'll get through to the next World Cup have an absolute barnstormer, win New Zealand back, the, the golden trophy, um, before the he William goes and does Webellis. it. He's talking about next year, though. Yeah, I reckon he's going to go. I think the All Blacks are going to slip off a cliff, eh? They might do, mate. They might do. Which is the next thing, because the, the All Blacks may slip off a cliff, but the Australians <laughs> apparently have already, which <laughs> I disagree with. Bottom of the ditch, mate. Can I just say, the Reds look good. Yeah. The Brumbies, Brumbies look good. Look good. Okay, yes, the Waratahs and the Rebels. Rebels. But I even think the Rebels are going to come good after watching a few games this year. Yeah. I think they're going to come good. I don't think Australian rugby's in as bad a position as people are painting. No. And I think maybe people are painting the picture of management, though. Or are they painting the picture of the players? I think they're painting the picture of overall... Australian rugby. Australian rugby's gone down the pan. Now, you got to think, yeah, okay, they went to the World Cup. And they didn't perform that well. But they still had a good team. I mean, the, the Falau thing ruined Australia's World Cup. Yes. That happening was like, for them, their biggest player by quite a distance not being available, that they've basically put a big game plan around yeah. for the last four or five years. Gone. It would be like Dan Carter getting, uh, you know, injuring his, what, yeah. his, his um, groin yeah. for New Zealand with two matches to go. Oh, no, no, we still managed to win. Sorry, that was a bad, <laughs> you like that? Yeah. <laughs> the beaver. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so I, I, he's got a point. That, that there's yeah. only, the only way is up. Mm, only way is really is up for them, I suppose. They've, they've had to deal with a lot of things. But I genuinely think Australian rugby it may not be perceived to yeah, be but they're that not, strong. Like but you say, they're not in the, the worst of places, I think. It'll be really interesting, the autumn internationals this year, whether Australia can come to Europe. Who are they playing? Oh, mate, I don't know. Don't know who they're playing. No. You would think we would know not doing our own podcast, but I don't know that Do yet. you know who the All Blacks are playing? England? I think they're playing England. They're playing England. Once. Once. Right. Go, let's go back to those three test match series. Yeah. They are fantastic, aren't they? Those bad boys. Let's go back to proper tours. That's never going to happen. It's all about money these days. All yes, about money. it is. And the last one is, the RFU over here in England have decided through their wisdom that they're going to cut the championship's budget in half. So is that the level below? The premiership. Right. It's like the... Um, so the Saracens is going to... So Saracens, Ooh. yeah, but yeah. I mean, 
It, it's actually a little bit of a misnomer. Saracens used... might go down to the no. north, you know, South England grade. The reason for this is they're saying that, that the championship literally does not blood through England players for them. Although, in the current squad of players, the wider squad, they've got three current England players who have gone through the championship. So it blows their whole point out the water. Right. Okay. But it would be like cutting the uh, Mighty Ten Cups budget in half. I, I don't think they have a budget. <laughs> They're just like, here's oh, a, you get, some, a, you get uh, a free tracksuit. Here, here's a couple of sheep for you, <laughs> uh, for the family. Hey, you get to uh, get to share, share them and keep the wool. <laughs> Give them back at the end of the season. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, crazy for me, crazy. Yeah. I mean, it, it just shows that, you know, if the England RFU are struggling, then we've all got no hope. No, that's right. We've got absolutely no hope. But that is the end of breaking news. Excellent. In fact, some of these aren't even breaking, mate, because they were actually I did them for last week, and you what weren't happened? here. Well, you weren't here either. I was here. I didn't. I still see did you here. the podcast. <laughs> 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 but anyway, mate, we've got our listeners' question. Do you well, want to read? Well, no, I can't read it because it's so you, far away. All right. <laughs> 